Sky News can reveal doctors and health executives have discussed closing the emergency department of one of Greater Darwin's two public hospitals. Live now to Matt Cunningham in Darwin. Matt, this comes after massive staff shortages in the health system. That's right, Laura. In fact, my information is that the Top End's hospital system is up to 20% short of its full quota of full-time employees. Now, that's putting massive strain on the hospital system up here and has led to some drastic action that has been discussed. I've been able to confirm through independent sources that there was a crisis meeting held about two weeks ago uh, with emergency department doctors and health department executives. At that meeting, a proposal was put forward to close the emergency department at the Palmerston Regional Hospital. That's one of two major public hospitals that exist in uh, the top end in the greater Darwin region, Laura. Uh, another proposal was put, would, was put forward that would see uh, the Palmerston Hospital's emergency department reduced to just a handful of beds and all ambulances told to go to Royal Darwin Hospital. Now, last week I put a series of questions to the Health Minister and the Northern Territory Health Department about this meeting and about whether they had any plans to close the emergency department at the Palmerston Regional Hospital. They didn't directly answer those questions, but here's what the Health Department had to say in a statement. They said, uh, we acknowledge the high demand for health services is not sustainable in the long term and are working to improve our capacity so we can continue to provide high quality care to all Territorians. The Health Minister, Natasha Files was also asked last week about whether there were any plans in place to try to accommodate uh, things given the staffing situation uh, with hospitals here in the top end. Here's what she had to say. It is significant, the uh, staffing uh, pressures on our hospitals, uh, and there's a number of factors around that. Uh, we're seeing this right across Australia, where we haven't got international workforce coming in. Uh, we don't have people on those working holiday visas. We need to acknowledge how hard our frontline staff work, but we have been working uh, within our hospitals to keep services, to keep uh, things operating, but we have seen significant pressures based on staffing uh, in Territory Hospitals. There hasn't been changes to date, but we certainly do have contingency plans. Interesting there, she spoke about contingency plans. Laura, I did ask, uh, subsequently ask her office whether those contingency plans included closing or scaling back operations at the Palmerston Regional Hospital. I didn't get a direct response mm. to uh, those questions. However, I have been told that basically uh, doctors have given the health department uh, sort of an ultimatum to the end of this month to fix the problem, otherwise to take uh, more serious action. At the moment, they've had to recruit staff basically from everywhere they can, from the Howard Springs quarantine facility where they'd already lost a lot of hospital staff and also uh, from the National Critical Care and Trauma Centre, but some serious problems in the top end hospital system. Yeah, and you've had very little COVID transmission, so it begs the question, Matt, how would the system manage if there was an outbreak? Well, that's a very good question. And you'd have to say at the moment that the government is extremely worried about what would happen if there was a COVID outbreak here in the Northern Territory. Just 12 ICU beds at Royal Darwin Hospital that could accommodate those patients. And as we know, that hospital is already under immense strain. I spoke to Bill Yan, who's the shadow health spokesman here in the Northern Territory. Here's a bit of what he had to say. I'd hate to see what would happen if we had a serious outbreak of Delta uh, here in the Territory. So we've got our hospitals already under immense pressure now. If we had a, a Delta outbreak and of course then they get hit uh, with all those patients coming in requiring critical care from uh, a Delta variant outbreak, how are we going to cope with that? We, we, we can't cope now, let alone with the added pressure of a COVID outbreak on our health system. Also worth considering, Laura, what it might mean for opening up the Northern Territory. Uh, obviously, there's a push on at the moment for borders to reopen, especially once uh, we hit 80% vaccination. But there are serious questions today about how the Northern Territory's hospital system would cope if there was an outbreak of coronavirus here in the NT. Yeah, indeed. Matt, thanks so much for that. We'll speak to you soon.